Hi, my name is Tracy Swain. I'm the author of Finding a Friend, and I can't wait to tell you all about me, my writing process, and my favorite shark, Deep Blue. I grew up in the South Bronx, uh, and I spent every summer in Talladega, Alabama. And one summer, I was about, I think it was 11, I was invited to do a summer program, and they had journal writing. In the journal writing class, um, it would always be like a, a daily assignment to write about your day or to write about the summer. Um, and I was a dancer, so a lot of times I would write about, you know, wanting to get into the school performing arts. I would say that that was my first goal. Then when I turned a certain age, I decided that there were a few things I wanted to check off my list. So one of the things I accomplished was I climbed Kilimanjaro. And after that, I got excited. I was like, okay, what can I do next? So my goal was to write a children's book or books in the Shark Stories series that uh, can keep students' interests. I was watching a special and it was on sharks and one of them was deep blue. And so the scientists were in the water and they were uh, swimming around and there was a whale carcass. And then all of a sudden there were tiger sharks everywhere, just snacking. And then all of the tiger sharks swam away and the scientists were looking around like, what's going on? And all of a sudden they see this huge mass come around. And so they said that the rule is when a larger shark comes around, the, the smaller sharks are supposed to swim away or give them the right away. Um, and so I was like, oh, that must be so sad and lonely. And I thought, oh, she just wants a friend. And so that's how I came up with the concept of finding a friend. Kadisha is the illustrator of the book and in our beginning conversations, I let her know that this was a real life shark. And, you know, she asked if I wanted it to look exactly like the real shark or if I wanted it to be more cartoon like. And I, I remember saying I want it to be a fun version um, of this particular shark, but I do want her to have something um, that has her stand out from any other characters that you'll see. I wanted her to be easily recognizable. So I said, maybe you'll put a flower in her hair or something like that. And then she came back and she was like, I put a starfish on there. And I was like, ta-da! <laughs> I was like, so happy with that. And so Cushy has become like so popular. She might be just as popular as um, Deep Blue. Finding a Friend is a narrative nonfiction, so we trickle in like real life things about uh, the different characters. So the Panama Cushion Star, we share the fact that a starfish can regrow a body part, which is interesting. There are some scientific lessons, there's a glossary in the back. One of the lessons in the book is a math lesson because each of the group of animals that you see can be divided by three except for one, the school of fish. And so um, I want that to be something that the teachers can share with their students. Can you figure out which of these group of animals is not divisible by three? Another lesson in the book is that a lot of times we have someone that's right by our side and we don't even realize it. Even though Deep Blue had this mission of finding a friend, she didn't realize that she had a friend right by her side all along. I hope that when reading this book that everyone is able to laugh. I hope that they learn something new. I hope that they learn how to be a good friend and a good person. I hope that everyone is as lucky as I was. I was extremely lucky. I had an amazing mom um, and she always shared like little lessons. And one of the things that she would always say is you choose your friends, you don't let your friends choose you. Um, and I remember that to this day. I was like a young kid and I was always very selective with who I hung out with. And I was lucky enough to find my friend Dahlia at the age of eight. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy hanging out with Deep Blue and that your journey to finding a friend is a good one.